What's up guys? As you can see, I have a friend. Yay, friends! Hello there, Inform Overloaders. Nice to see you again. How have you been? I hope that you're being very, very nice to Jared because he is a major news telling babe. And Rebecca loves a good news story. I do. But before we get into it, let's talk about our new channel, Life's Biggest Questions. Ah, kind of you to bring up, Jared. So as you know, I am working on Most Amazing Top 10, but we have just brought out a new channel called Life's Biggest Questions. So you can ask things like what came first, the chicken or the egg, are aliens real, or who really caused 9-11, and we have the answers to all of those questions. It's a really cool sciencey channel. Those are questions that I would want to the answers to, so I'm gonna check that out. You guys gotta check it out too. Come on over to that channel after this video. Video, but before that, we have some really interesting medical news for you. Did you guys know that the world's first head transplant is expected to take place as soon as December 2017? The, sorry, the world's first head transplant. Like, my head, your body. <laughs> That's something I'm not sure people need to see. Dr. Sergio Canavero is planning on attaching Valerie Sparadanova's head to an entirely new body. The controversial operation would be the first ever of its kind and has the potential to revolutionize life expectancies of the terminally ill. Wheelchair bound 31 year old Valerie said, Today my life is pretty tough, and he has to rely on help from several other people to care for him day to day. He suffers from Wardenick Hoffman disease, which is an incurable illness that is slowly eaten away at his muscles. In something akin into Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, the procedure will involve freezing Valerie's head and body at minus 15 degrees Celsius. The neck will be cut with tubes fitted to act as temporary veins. The biggest challenge will be severing the spinal cord. For the intricate process, a diamond blade is set to be used. Next, the head will be fused onto the new body with a surgical glue, and then the surgeons will face a race against time to link the muscles and blood vessels to the new head. After that, a plastic surgeon would then stitch the new head to its new body from the neck. The patient will then be placed in an induced coma for three to four weeks to fully heal and recover from the procedure. Sorry, did you say that they're going to glue his head back on? They, yes, they, they're going to glue it. Wow, they, like this sounds absolutely insane. I cannot believe that we are even living in a time where this kind of procedure is even being talked about. I know it's crazy, but Valerie has done his research into the surgeon itself and the surgery. Dr. Canavera has successfully performed similar procedures on dogs and monkeys. So, what, dogs and and monkeys. Okay, but with that being said, not all the procedures have been successful. However, it is quite likely that following the transplant, Valerie's new body could technically reject his head or vice versa. So they could go through all that effort and it might not be a success. Unfortunately not. That is the risk being taken. In Valerie's interview with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid on Good Morning Britain, he is pressed into confessing that he believes his quality of life will be better following the procedure. Whatever the outcome, the controversial surgery poses a question of ethics. Just because we can do this, doesn't mean we should. What do you guys think? Do let us know in the comment section down below. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. As long as the research has been done and everyone knows what they're getting themselves into, I think it's only going to help Valerie. Obviously, you know, he might not make it. I'm hoping that he does. And the doctor might face some repercussions because of the whole idea, but it could change the face of medical practice as we know it, so. Absolutely, you're so right. In the past 60 years alone, medicine has come on such a long way since that first kidney transplant in 1954. So who knows what will be possible 60 years from now. It might even make an excellent episode of Life's Biggest Questions. Check that out. Bring it all back to you. Oh. On behalf of myself and Rebecca and the entire team at IO, we are wishing all parties involved in this procedure all the best. And now it's time to answer some of your questions. So are you gonna read comments from videos that you've been in? Yep. Oh, can I be like the person asking the question and then you can answer them as if I'm them? Okay. I yeah. like a game. Yeah, okay. Okay, so in one video titled Harambe is now a Street Fighter character, sorry, what? Yeah, you guys should check that one out too. You guys asked, so Melanie Martinez fan said, hey Jared, do you have a Samsung or an Apple? Crucial questions. I have an Apple. I've, I've had an Apple for a long time now. iPhone. Uh, I had like a Blackberry in grade nine, which was like six, no, seven years, eight years ago. Nice. And ever since I've been iPhone, so. And for those of you wondering, I have a potato. Lilac Wing wants to know, is it weird I have no idea who Harambe is? <laughs> Woo! Long pause. Yeah, that one, that one really took me back a second, guys. I wouldn't say it's weird, but if, if you've been on the internet, what are you looking at? <laughs> He is the meme lord of like, 2016. He's, he's literally everything. Sorry. It just doesn't make sense to me that 
people wouldn't know who Harambe is. My dad knows who Harambe is. Quote Jared though, Harambe is literally everything. So we have a very probing question from a subscriber named Johnny who wants to know, hey Jared, what is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? And I'm excited to find out the answer. There have been times that I've obviously like slipped and fallen on ice. We live in Canada, it freezes here a lot. Probably the most embarrassing is in my acting class in school, in front of my whole class, me and my partner went up. It just gave an awful, like we just weren't prepared for this. We literally last minute like put this thing together. Did it. <laughs> it was so bad. Like it was so awful literally after we were done. We just sat there quietly. No one said a word and uh, My teacher just looked at us and she literally just said <laughs> she went Two weeks oh. you guys had two weeks to prepare for this and that's what you show me and we were literally just like Okay, well I think yep. the life lesson to be learned here is that if you don't put work into things, you will be embarrassed. Yep. Also, FYI, that is not the story that Jared told me off camera. I'll let your imagination do the talking there. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a comment down below to possibly be featured in the next video. And thank you Rebecca for joining me. Thank you Jared for having me. Also thank you to everyone heading over to Life's Biggest Questions right now and obviously Most Amazing Top 10 because it's still my homeboy. And that is where you can see Rebecca. <laughs> oh, we did so bad. That was so awful. Like, I wasn't even looking okay. at you. Ah, oh my god. How are we doing that? <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh my. Team out.